Hello everyone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and then do click the bell icon so that you can be one of the first viewers to watch my video. Yo, have a one. How's it going? As you can see, I'm back from Phone Future, and this time I've got a pretty special unboxing for you guys. This is the OnePlus 5D. I have. Uh, before I begin, I just want to let you know, guys, that I have unboxed this earlier. I'm I'm not doing this unboxing for the first time, and I'm sorry that I couldn't record it earlier. But this is uh, so I basically couldn't record it. So let's just leave that. And let's begin with the unboxing. So this is the OnePlus 5T as you can see. And it's definitely from OnePlus and many OnePlus 5 users are getting frustrated about the recent launch. And how frequently that the company launches these phones. But let's move apart from that. And let's see what do we have here. Okay so I just want to tell you that this is a 64 gigs midnight black region version uh, with 60 gigs of RAM and the price over here is written 33,000 and I got it for 1.5k less because of some because of that instant discount from HDFC and this is manufactured in November yep those how this is I'm not gonna have some really big things but general, uh, I'm gonna just pop up some specs over here as you can see it is a snapdragon 835 with 6 gigs of ram this model is 6 gigs of ram but it also comes with a storage of 8 gigs of ram with 128 gb of storage and uh, what else uh, there are there is the one most hyped thing not hyped the more one most the most famous thing about this phone is the 18 is to 9 display so that is a big thing over here that's what new we have and not actually it's pretty much basically the same phone inside the same as the oneplus 5 but from the outside this phone has given some has been given some changes so let's without any problem let's open this box and we are firstly greeted with the phone itself again i have used this so you <laughs> please don't mind the fingerprints etc so this is how the box looks let's quickly pull up this phone from the back as you can see the camera has now been protruding a little bit more than it was allowed to be earlier so now the camera is protruding a little bit more than the oneplus 5 was i'm going to be probably doing the comparison between this and oneplus 5 very soon so subscribe for that and uh, this is how the phone looks let's just quickly peel off this thing it does look annoying on this phone okay I'm just gonna stick up over here so this is how the phone looks and we'll get back to the phone in some time let's for that time let's quickly see what's more in this box let's just quickly open this up and uh, okay weird noises so this time we are um, oneplus is also providing a cover as you can see the it is an official cover and then it is written one plus over here yes so it's a pretty silicon case nice quality but standard cover and now in this thing we have the quick start guide okay we don't probably need that that's how it is the quick start guide not the quick start guide sorry the safety information which I'm probably not gonna be able to take it out. Crap. Okay. Yep. So the safety information and some nice little stickers to show appreciation to OnePlus by sticking them around on your gadgets or any other thing that you might want to. So quickly gonna put this back. And uh again there is also a sim ejector tool as you can see a standard sim ejector tool like how it is on every oneplus device so let's just put this back and keep the cover out for a bit so we can see and test this cover out and again this is the retail unit of the oneplus 5 if you guys are wondering oops and now these are this is the charger the big fat charger 4 amps charger 
this is how it always is if it's rated approximately at oops it focused so it is rated at 5 volts 4 amps as you can see it's a pretty nice charger this is the dash charger and can charge your phone approximately in one hour in 20 minutes i guess so that's a pretty fast charge for 33 milliamp power battery and this normal c type cable pretty standard that's how this stuff is usually is so let this let's just put this back and now see the phone itself quickly gonna put this aside on the background okay that's not that much so now talking about the phone okay so this is the cover and this is the phone let's just quickly first of all put the cover and see how it probably looks on the phone and yes it looks very nice on this phone no problems it looks fairly nice the grip is nice so let me just quickly give you an overview of this phone so here are the dual cameras of which, uh, which one lens is 16 megapixels and the other lens is also a normal lens a 20 megapixel lens and not a telephoto lens which therefore we do not have any optical zoom in this one although what the feature of this phone is that this can capture a better light low light photography than the oneplus 5 way better and we are going to test out in our next videos then there is a dual tone led flash correct me if i'm wrong whether this is a dual tone led flash or not and this is the fingerprint reader which is has been shifted from the front to the back now this is something new in the oneplus 5t that we see here and again this is still retaining a very sweet headphone jack which we, which is actually very rare to see in the smartphones these days. Then there is a C type cable. Then there is a C type port, charging port, and the uh, normal stereo speaker, not a stereo mono speaker. And from the front, a beautiful six-inch display, <clears throat> eighteen is to nine, guys. And from the front, we have a sixteen megapixel shooter with an earpiece and nothing on the bottom the on screen keys will be on on this obviously on the screen here so let's just quickly boot this up again as i have already set up this phone so we are just gonna go directly to the that thing and let's see till uh, let's see how much time does this phone actually take to boot up i guess it shouldn't take pretty long and it hasn't been actually taking very long so okay wow it's actually already boot up that's nice so we are going to quickly oops oops we are going to quickly open this phone up and just test out some things hands on and gonna be make list of this we'll see it later so this is how the phone basically is it has a got a gorgeous display over here as you can see it's just lovely to see how this phone is we're gonna change some we're gonna change a wallpaper now to make this phone probably look a little bit more vibrant uh, the messages are popping up so this phone has actually has got a gorgeous display it's like really nice so one of the best displays out in the market it's got had has not it does not have a 2K display guys, it has a FHD plus resolution that is 1080 cross 2160 So it is a pretty nice display and it, I would not mind the 2K com compromise here because we actually don't Cannot see the much difference in this small screen a 2K difference so it's not a big thing And obviously you need to have a little bit more battery to require that 2K display so you know what it's already fine I guess oneplus has made a smart move over here and not choosing by the 2K display so let me just quickly so show you some camera samples that I have it. It's nothing new but ah well it's okay. And uh, yes this is also a uh, sample that I have shot. So I guess these are some beautiful shots. I am going to be testing this out more in the daylight. I haven't tested those, this out in a broad daylight and uh, of course let me just see some sh camera samples till the time yes so this is one of the cam samples that i have shot in the daylight and that's it this is the only shot that i have taken in daylight so i guess this is how this 
we have got some new settings over here the ui is built more defined they say here is, is the portrait this is the photo even though this phone doesn't have an optical zoom it still has that 2x and 1x button which is i mean probably not that useful as you probably won't be using it this is the video this phone can shoot at will has the eis and can and it employs the eis at 1080 when you shoot at 1080p basically and uh, that's how this phone is pretty much i'm gonna cover this phone a little bit more in detail on when i get some time and probably when i have when actually i gather some stuff to say probably so this is it for now guys i'm gonna be making more videos soon and for till the time peace out bye bye guys i hope to see you guys in my next video uh, do tell me in comment section whether you like this oneplus 5t or not because i mean it's a, one of the best smartphones that i have tested till now so do tell me do tell me your opinions how did you like this phone and i'll till then i'll see you guys in my next video till the time peace so bye bye i'm out